Hello and welcome to Reviews and How-Tos. I'm Tyler. Today we're going to be checking out this electric ear wax removal kit. And this was sent to me by the manufacturer for free to sample for you all. So let's go ahead and pop it open here. Looks like that's it for the box. And everything is wrapped nice and neat in this plastic. All right, so we have our instruction manual right there. And then a water tank and everything here to irrigate your ears. Should be sure to take off this top here. And then it's got some cotton swabs in here. And then it's got some attachments. You can see they can go. Got one of these little bulbs to assist in cleaning your ear. And then it has the charging cable here. And just like most of your electronics these days, does not come with a charging brake. It only comes with the actual charging cable. And the charging cable is about, about two feet long, uh, USB-A to a USB-C type cable. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up and then we'll try it out. All right, so it says to add some warm water. So I got it filled up on the side that has the measurements. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our top on here. And you wanna use mild, like lukewarm water. You don't want anything super hot. It says like 98 degrees, so basically, um, body temperature water. I'll take off one of these tips here. And we will put it on to our device. And then I guess we just put this up in our ear and push the button and see what happens. Well, there we go. All right, so I've got it on soft right now. Spring it into my ear. That's normal. It's doing a good job. No water's leaking from this thing or anything. And then after normal, we'll go with pulse. And then the last one's strong. Oh yeah, that's definitely strong. So see how well it cleans out my right ear. Sort of move it around in your ear a little bit. And you can use water or saline solution for this. If you're using water, I would use bottled water. Because you never know what type of contaminants are going to be in your tap water. And I'm not sure if you'd want to put that in your ear. It could cause some type of infection, I would think. All right, so didn't get much out of that ear. I'm going to put it in the other ear here really quick. And turn it up to strong. This last little bit of water we got. It actually feels really good in my ear, though. <laughs> All right, and we are out of water now. All right, there's a little bit of earwax down inside of there, and I'm not really seeing any in this tank, but yeah, grossness in there. It was too big to get stuck through the hole, so there is some uh, earwax built up inside of this little. Thing. I'm not going to show it to you. That's nasty. <laughs> All right. So overall, it looks like it's a great little product. I seem to have a little bit of water in my ear, so we'll use this to suck it out. And that works well. And then, of course, you have your Q-tips here at the very end. And you can ensure that you get any residual water out of there. Not supposed to stick these all the way into your ear like everyone does so don't do that all right cool so clean ears definitely pulled some stuff out of mine so great little product here like i said the biggest things are you know ensure you're using uh warm water not hot water uh probably best to buy some saline to utilize with this especially if you're prone to ear infections or anything like that other than that I think it's a great item that'll be ready to go as soon as you pull it out of the box.